Got it, Gary. Got it. All right. Pretty loud yet. Yeah. Someone been messing with the dials in back. <laughs> okay, we'll call the 25th regular meeting of the Common Council order. Sue, would you call the roll, please? Bauman. Here. Berg. Here. Serta. Here. Graf. Excused. Kittleson. Here. Laux. Here. Manny. Here. Montemayor. Excused. Perez. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Sigali. Here. Stefan. Excused. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. And Warner. Here. Twelve present. Quorum's present. Alderman uh, Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. On that, I would move the minutes of the last Common Council meeting be approved and that the same stand is entered on the record. Second. We have a motion and a second before us that the meetings of previous council meetings stand approved under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Warner, would you lead us in a pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's the point that. Public forum, Sue? Yes, uh, John Berner. John, could you give me your home address, please? Okay, 1919 Broadway. And you will have five minutes. Okay. Uh, tonight I would like uh, to talk about this uh, council and the mayor. And uh, people don't realize the problems that faced you from early on were passed on from previous mayors, starting as early as the late, 19, or seven, late uh, 1970s to the early 1980s with the closing of businesses. And then people were talking, we need industry in here, but it never came. As companies left, they left buildings empty. And these were highly respected businessmen. And it kept on and kept on. Businesses didn't come in. Business kept closing. I know, I three closings I went through. <coughs> and I respect people that have to find another job when there isn't another job. And raising a family of three, four, five, six people in a family and, and trying to feed them, pay the bills, and trying to get them a decent education. So this was a problem that started later. And it basically wasn't until this administration and this common council started getting rid of some of these eyesores. And I wish people would think back and not just what is today, but what happened back that led up to this day. And for that, I'd like to thank the mayor and the common council and the members that will be leaving, uh, Mr. Van Akron, Mr. Werner, Mr. Lux, I think you deserve a, a big thanks, a round of applause. No matter whether people disagree with you or not, you still did your job and, and you believed in what you do. So if nobody else thanks you, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Mr. Felter? <coughs> Mr. Felter, could you give me your home address, please? My home address is 3605 Rosewood Court. Rosewood? One. Rosewood Court. Okay, and you will have five minutes, sir. All right. Um, it certainly was a very emotional event yesterday, many torches being extinguished. 
But I came here today talking about holding the line in taxes. As you all know, we have heard this for the last few years, holding the line of taxes, year after year after year. What does it mean? In my case, $189 last year was added to my tax bill. Now, if I apply the same formula that you apply to the stormwater fee, $36 per year gives you $1.5 million. So I take my $189, multiply it up, and I come up to $7,875,000. Now, not everybody pays that tax, but $190, $150,000 house is pretty much average. So if you take this money out of the economy, you're taking it out. It's gone. Now you're putting it into a few select pockets. If you get a 3.5% raise every year and you work a couple hours of overtime, if you're gainfully employed, no problem. But if you're on a fixed income, it is. Therefore, I got to prioritize my budget. So what do you think falls out of it? My annual subscription to the Sheboygan Press fits it just perfectly. Now, if everybody did that, what do you think the Sheboygan Press would be today? Go on. So you can see where that money goes. Now, with all these taxes, we went house hunting last Sunday. Make sure it was out of the city limits. Far away, so you can't annex me. This is a new word, exurbia. It was on CNN about a week ago, which means you're going to get all the benefits of the city, but you live down there for a lot less. And as we came back from house hunting, the condo, we stopped over at Cruises and we had an ice cream. I got myself the flavor of the day. Uh, I forgot what it was, but the wife got herself a chocolate. And since this was, uh, mine was much better than yours, I said, would you like to share? She says, why should I share? I got an ice cream, too. Think about this for a minute, sharing. We have a lot of things in the city. We have a lot of things in the county we want to share. And it's not going to work so easy. Combining, I could have just bought one cone for two bucks, and we could have shared that one. We would have saved 50%. Now, you could do this in this scenario here with the police station. You, we have two police departments. Why can't we combine? What do we need two police departments for? Now, while we're doing the calculations here, PGA, $76 million came into this area. 300,000 visitors. Get my calculator out, that's $253.33 per visitor. Anybody that walked into that tent over there and buy the merchandise, with the same straight logo on it, I spent more than $350. I still had money then, remember. So that means, who's making the money? You had 40 cash registers and 80 some people standing in line all day long. And with the average, it's only $253. Who made the money? The state of Wisconsin, 5%. And they had that included. And guess what? This shirt is made in Korea. So it's right in the back of it. So this is big money. But in Sheboygan, it doesn't rub off. It doesn't come this way. It goes strictly over there. So just to straighten that out. Came back from Myrtle Beach in the February. And one thing there, the, the beach is empty and the water is cold, but everybody was down at Broadway on the beach. A beautiful scenario with white buildings, red walls, almost like Blue Harbor, restaurants, and they had a big IMAX theater there, which I thought would be a nice location here for us in the uh, Armory location, IMAX theater. Well attended. There were little golf courses, all similar things that we want to do here with Blue Harbor. And I think it would be a very good idea. Even in those cold days, it was packed because they got a hundred some golf courses in Hurry County, which is Myrtle Beach. And I think that's about all I wanted to say. Mr. Felter, your, anyway, ti your time is up. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah.
Good job. Thank you. That's it. Okay, we have three hearings before us this evening. I will read all three, and any interested parties wishing to be heard, please speak up to Please step up to the microphone. Give us your name and address. Number one, rezoned property located at 3144 Wilgus Road from a class UR urban residential to a class SO suburb office classification. Number two, rezoned property located at 704 South 15th Street from a class UI urban industrial to a class HI heavy industrial. Number three, rezoned property located at 2145 Calumet Drive from a Class UI Urban Industrial to a Class UC Urban Commercial Classification. Any interested parties wishing to be heard on any of them, please step up to the microphone on which one, which number, one, two, or three, and give us your name and address, please. Sure. Okay. And can I have your name? Rene Asher, Dr. Asher. Dr. Asher? Dr. Asher. A-S-H-E-R? A-S-H-E-R. And your address? 3144 Wilkes. Okay. Um, just looking to change the property. It's, it's currently urban residential. It's a three bedroom ranch that's been vacant for a couple of years. I'm looking to change it to suburban office and start hiring. Okay. Alderman Rankish. Uh, may I ask, pose a question for her, please? Yeah, go ahead. Um, which property is that on Wilkes Avenue? Is that the north side by the? Uh, it's towards the entrance of Associated Bank. Very good. Is so it the one that the lawn is so high in the summers? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Any interested parties wishing to be heard on any of the hearings? Any interested parties wishing to be heard? Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I move the hearing to be closed. I need a second. Okay. We have a motion and a second before us that your hearing is be closed under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Consent agenda, Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that all ROs, ROs be accepted and placed on file, all RCs be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions, substitute resolutions, and ordinances be passed. Second. Thank you. <laughs> we have a motion and a second before us that all ROs be accepted and filed, RCs be accepted and adopted, resolutions and ordinance be put upon their passage. 2520, no, excuse me, 251 through 2527, except 2515 will lie over. If you want to mark that. And 2527, the verbiage has been changed on there. It's by Alderman, Bor Alderman Bauman, General Ordinance re-establishing the South Pier Sheboygan River Dock line description in the city. Correct? Yep. Okay. So, on a consent agenda, there's no discussion. Will you call the, oh, excuse me, Alderman Manny. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> uh, 2519. Yes. I'd like to point this out uh, for citizens to note that Sheboygan <laughs> Rotary Club Foundation Incorporated is donating to the city $67,500 over a five-year period for the development of the Lakefront Eco Trail and Cordwalk. And I think we need to say thank you for such a generous offer. So at least people know. Yes. Thank you, Alderman Manny. <clears throat> okay. Do you have no other discussion? Would you call the roll? Bauman. Aye. Berg. Aye. Serta. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Lauchs. Manny, Aye. Perez, Rinfleisch, Sigali, Aye. Van Akron, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. and Werner. Aye. 12 eyes. Motion carried. 25, 28, and 29 will be referred. 25, 30, hold for 24, 26. 25, 31 lies over. 25, 32 will lie over until May 2nd. 25.33 lies over. 25.34 through 47 to be referred. Twenty-five forty-eight and 49 will lie over. 
2550 through 2557 will be referred. <clears throat> 2558 will be referred to the Committee of the Whole of the New Common Council. 2559, by law and licensing, recommending the denial of beverage operator's license 6715, based on non-cooperation with the committee and failure to reveal his full record. Alderman Manny. Thank you, Your Honor. I need to ask if Travis Mayer is here. Is Travis Mayer here? <coughs> Your Honor, he is not here. Okay. We would like to move ahead with the uh, denial of license. I have a second. We have a motion before us under discussion. <clears throat> Dear Zanini, would you call the roll, please? Berg? Aye. Serta? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Lauks? Aye. Manny? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sagali? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. And Bauman? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carried. 2560 goes to Committee of the Whole. 2561, hold for 2441. 2562 will lie over. 2425 RO by City Plan Commission recommending amending the zoning of four property located at 2145 Calumet Drive. Alderman Warner. I thank you, Your Honor. I move, I move that we accept and file the RO. Second. We have a motion before us and a second to accept and file the RO under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Serta? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Lauks? Aye. Manny? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sagali? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. Bauman? Aye. And Berg? Aye. <clears throat> Twelve ayes. Motion carried. Twenty-four twenty-six, along with twenty-five thirty, by City Plan Commission, recommending the property at seven hundred four South Fifteenth Street not be rezoned, and the ordinance and the report of officer be placed on file. Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. That I move the RO five twenty-three zero four zero five and uh, document twenty-five thirty B accepted and placed on file. Second. We have motion and second before us under discussion. Alderman Warner is for the ethanol plant, correct? Correct. Okay, so everyone understands. Would you call the roll, please? <clears throat> okay. Kittleson? Aye. Lauks? Aye. Manny? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sagali? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. And Serta? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carried. 2437, a resolution by Alderman Groff, Stefan, Serta, Manny, and Montemayor, authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2005 budget. Whew, three of them are gone, huh? Alderman Serta. Make a motion to pass resolution number, let's see, where are we? <laughs> 22. 223. 223.0405. Mm -hmm. We have a motion and a second before us to pass to resolution 223.0405 under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll? Lauks? Aye. Manny? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sagali? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Serta? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carried. 2441 along with 2561 by salary agreements recommending approval of the filling of two vacant police officers positions, one being filled by June 1 of 05, the other one by December 1st of 05. Alderman Warner. Oh, excuse me, salary and grievance wouldn't be Alderman Warner, that'd be Alderman Van Akron. Governor, I move the RC be put up on passage. We have a motion and a second before us under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll? Now are we doing both of them? Or just both the of them. One? Right now it's both. That's what it's saying. Unless you want a separate vote on them. But nobody called for it, so it's both of them. 
All right, Manny. Aye. Perez. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Sagali. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Warner. Aye. Bauman. Aye. Berg. Aye. Serta. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Lauz. Aye. Twelve ayes. Motion carried. Twenty-five forty-three. General ordinance. By Alderman Van Akron, amending general ordinance number 125.0405 so as to correct an error in the legal description of the encroachment for Ricky and John Navis, Navis on portions of North 11th Street. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, I move the ordinance be put upon its passage. We have a motion and a second before us under discussion. <clears throat> Hearing none, do you call the roll? Perez. Rinfleisch, Aye. Sagali, Aye. Van Akron, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Warner, Aye. Bauman, Aye. Berg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Kittleson, Aye. Laux, Aye. and Manny. Aye. Twelve ayes. Motion carried. Very agreeable tonight. Pardon me? Very agreeable tonight. We're moving. 2444 by Alderman Van Akron and Perez relating to no parking areas so as to add the east-west alley both sides between Indiana Avenue and Kentucky Avenue from South 10th Street to a point 60 feet east thereof, no parking at any time. Alderman Van Akron or Perez? Your Honor, I move the ordinance be put upon its passage. <clears throat> we have a motion and a second before us that the ordinance be put upon its mm -hmm. passage. Would you guys like to explain exactly where this is? It's on uh, between uh, Indiana and Kentucky, it's an alley behind the, the tavern where trucks go through. There's all those cars parked in the alley there that they can't get in there and they're riding on the neighbor's grass or knocking down her, her water things that come down into the road. Indiana and Kentucky Ziggies, were at the... Right behind Ziggy's. Right behind Ziggy's? In the alley. Okay. So I know. <clears throat> okay, there's no other discussion. We, do, we really don't need a roll call, do we? Yes. Yes, we do? Yes. Okay, we need a roll call. Roll call, please. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sagali? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Serta? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Laux? Aye. Manny? Aye. And Perez? Aye. Twelve ayes. Motion carried. 2445, General Ordinance by Alderman Van Akron and Perez, amending General Ordinance 20... <laughs> General Ordinance 36405, so as to correct an error in the legal description of an encroachment for KEG 1 LLC on portions of North 12th Street. Your Honor, I move the ordinance to be put upon its passage. We have a motion and a second before us under discussion. <clears throat> Hearing none, call the roll, please. Sigali? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Kittleson, Aye. Laux, Aye. Manny, Aye. Perez, Aye. and Rinfleisch. Aye. Twelve ayes. Motion carried. 2446, General Ordinance by Alderman Montemayor, relating to a one-way street so as to add Heller Avenue from North 17th to North 15th Street, one-way traffic eastbound only, and Mertens Avenue from North 15th to North 17th, one-way traffic westbound only. Alderman Vanderwell. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll make a motion to put the general ordinance upon its passage. We have a motion and a second before us under discussion. Under discussion, I'd just like to say that uh, this ordinance is a result of one of my constituents expressing, a, expressing an idea to me. He thought that it would be a safer for the children of Jefferson School if the streets to the north and to the south of the school were one way streets. After talking with all the neighbors and residents in the area, going door to door, and uh, working with Traffic Sergeant Tarkowski and the school system, everyone involved agreed that this idea made sense. So Mertens Avenue will be one way going west from 15th Street to 17th Street, and Heller Avenue will be one way going east from 15th Street to 17th Street. This is a perfect example of how, by working together, we can make a difference. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, roll please. Sagali. Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Serta? Aye. Kittleson? 
Laux, Aye. Manny, Aye. Perez, Aye. and Rinfleisch. Aye. 12 ayes. Motion carried. 2563 will go to Ergo Commission of the new council. 2564 can be accepted and filed. I need a motion to accept and file. All in, is there any discussion on a motion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 2565, Building Use Committee of the New Council. 2566 can be accepted and placed on file. Second. Is there any discussion on a motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 2567 will go to Building Use Committee of the New Council. 2568 can be accepted and placed on file. Second. Is there any discussion on a motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Steve, other matters? Yes. Excuse me. 2569. I missed that one? It was a I don't have it on my agenda. It's right. It's right next to you. Okay. Canvases. And what do we have to do with that? Accept and file. Okay. Motion to accept and file 2569. <laughs> Any discussion on the motion in a second? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. 2570, Steve. That's tomorrow by the State Parks Committee and Communications. Anthony Bonet, local coordinator, chairperson for Rocket for Schools, making various requests for their event on Wednesday, May 11, 2005. Public protection and safety. And public works. And public works, excuse me. 2571 is a claim from Glenn Zipper for alleged damages to his basement from the backup sewer ladder. Special Committee on Risk Management. 2572 is an ordinance declaring graffiti to be a nuisance and And that one will lie over. We have a motion and a second before us to adjourn. Under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? 